Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am your muse Tracy and I am your favorite manifestation coach. I am here to inspire you and empower you to live the life of your dreams, to create on purpose exactly what you want in all areas of your life, to stop settling and to stop suffering. You are not here to suffer. If that sounds good to you, you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and I am now offering group coaching to help you transform and revolutionize your life in all areas. In my coaching programs, we take a deep dive into your subconscious programming or your belief system, and we do the work to change the programming that is effectively covering up or masking your true nature. I will take you through the process of cleaning up your programming and rewriting it. We will meet two to three times per week and in between sessions you have email access to me as well. You have homework in between the sessions and it is a lot of hand holding in this program and it is an intensive program, an intensive month designed to create real transformation in every area of your life and return you back to your true nature of being an effortless and unlimited creator. Most of my clients will stay with me two to three months to integrate all of these teachings. Some want to stay longer, some, some, some stay shorter. Um, so it's, it's really up to you and the level of support that you desire to have. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, you can always leave me a comment or send me an email and I'll get back to you. I also just released a free mini course explaining why and how manifesting anything really, but a specific person is absolutely possible. This is, um, an common thing for thing for people to question um, because of the small issue of perceived free will. So if you are still questioning if you can manifest a specific person, I highly recommend this mini course to solidify your understanding of the fundamentals and you can get on your way with the manifestation process. Because not only is it possible, you are already doing it already with every person in your life. So it's good to understand these fundamentals and, and stop questioning. So check out the free mini course. The link is in the description and um, you can find it available now on my website. All right, you guys. So today I want to talk about affirmations and I recently did a short about this. I think it's either coming or it's already come out of my channel. I'm not exactly sure, but it is a, a direct quote from Neville and he's talking about um, how you create your reality and it's not through your affirmations through vain repetition. Okay. So actually let me just go ahead and start the video off with the quote. Um, or excerpt, I guess I'll call it, from Neville. And this is um, from his book, At Your Command. So he says, you do not command things to appear by your words or loud affirmations. Such vain repetition is more often than not confirmation of the opposite. Decreeing is ever done in consciousness. That is, every man is conscious of being that which he decreed himself to be. And then he goes into an example. I don't love the example, but basically he is saying it's, it's your assumption about yourself. It's your, um, what you're conscious of being. So this is important, you know, go watch my latest video about self-concept, what you're saying I am to, this is really the, the start of the creating of your own reality, which is, uh, what, whatever you say I am to, your reality is reflecting that back to you. And so let's talk about affirmations before I get more deeply into consciousness and reality creation, because this is a question that I get quite often. And, you know, my coaching as well as myself, I've gone through different evolutions and, you know, ways of creating my reality and um, where I am now, I don't affirm throughout the day. I don't affirm all day long. I don't affirm really at all. I wouldn't call it at affirming. I have in the past 
And so let me give you guys my recommendation right out of the gate, who affirming is appropriate for, what it is appropriate for, and then what I would not recommend affirming for. So if you are new-ish, newer to manifest manifesting, being a conscious creator, um, yes, I think affirming is necessary. Okay, because your mind is meant to be a power tool. But up until this point, probably, most likely, I'm generalizing here, but most likely, you haven't been practicing consciously directing your your mind, your thoughts, your awareness in the direction that you want it to go. Okay, mostly what you've done is probably just had your mind running on autopilot and most of your mind being directed through your unconscious programming, your un unconscious mind. So when you first learn about manifesting and you learn about affirming, this is a tool for you to build up the muscle for controlling your thoughts, for directing your thoughts, for choosing your thoughts deliberately, which is very important for manifesting. Okay. So I would recommend for the beginner to affirm, to build that muscle of directing your mind, choosing your thoughts, um, directing it and, and retraining it and not only regaining the control, but also creating and starting to pave new pathways in your mind. So absolutely, that is something that I would recommend for the beginner. Um, who else would I recommend affirming for? Because maybe you're not a beginner, okay? Maybe you have known about manifesting for a while and you've done different things and you're, you, you, so you're not a beginner. You, you're maybe not a master manifester, but you're not a beginner. Okay, so for this person, probably also something that isn't fully integrated in you is the fact that you're the operant power, the fact that you are the one creating everything in your reality, everything is responding to you, your consciousness is the real reality, that's probably not super solid within you. I'm just guessing, again, generalizing a little bit here, but through all of my experience, if you are not a master manifester, this is probably something that's going on for you. So for this person who's not a beginner, but yet hasn't solidified the foundation, the core um, of who you are and what 3D reality is, I would also recommend for you affirming, but not affirming about, you know, I'm now a millionaire. I'm now in the relationship of my dreams. I know not that I would recommend for you affirming I am the operant power. I am the one creating my reality. I am the only one creating my reality. Everything is responding to me. So I would recommend these types of affirmations for you, like the core foundation, new belief system type affirmations. Um, sort of, again, as a consistent reminder, a cons consistent choosing of this new belief system, because you see converting from your belief system that you had when you found out about manifesting to the new belief system is a process. It is a process. It, it doesn't just like, okay, I believe this now intellectually. And so I'm there. No, it actually is a process of converting your belief system. And the way you do that is you need to be aware when something from your old belief system comes up. Let's say you're experiencing something and the old belief system says, yeah, things in your 3D reality just happen. They just show up and now you have to deal with it. That's sort of the old belief system. So you need to be aware when that concept, that belief is showing itself to you and you need to say, oh, well, I don't believe that anymore. I believe I'm the operant power. Everything is responding to me. So something in my assumption, my past assumption, my past focus has um, generated this in my reality, right? So it's a moment to moment to moment, um, continuous changing of the belief system until the new belief system is sort of more on autopilot. It will be eventually. But again, through this consistent upgrading and changing of the belief system, it's not just because you read Neville, this makes sense to you, you resonate with it, and now all of a sudden your belief system is there. 
could it happen that way? Yeah, I guess it could. But <laughs> what I see, what I experienced, and what I see with most of my clients doesn't happen that way. Okay. You have to literally, um, brick by brick, bring your old belief system into the new belief system, right? So when you see another brick, oh yeah, that's a brick from the, the old belief system. You go, okay, well, this brick is now, this is what I believe. And this is the new belief system, right? It's brick by brick. You want to change it until there's no more bricks over here <laughs> in the old belief system. We got it all over here now. Okay. And so how will you know? Well, you'll know because the old belief system stops offering itself up to you. Um, it stops coming up to explain, oh, well, that's just there. You just won't do that anymore. You will have more on autopilot, the recognition in each and every uh, now moment. Okay. That thing showing up in my reality, that's a, that's a result of my consciousness because you know what? Everything is. So this is the, um, changing of the belief system. So again, if you're sort of in this middle ground where you're not a beginner, but you still don't feel you're a master manifester and you've, you know, maybe feel like you're doing techniques, but having trouble getting those results, it's probably this foundation piece. And you can absolutely use affirmations for this. I recommend it, actually. That's a good thing to be affirming about, reminding yourself, reminding yourself, this is who I am. This is what 3D reality is. This is who I am. This is what 3D reality is. It Absolutely, I recommend affirming for that. Now, let's talk about affirming for your goals and your desires. This is not really something that I affirm, or sorry, that I recommend, unless you're in the beginning stages of identifying a new uh, desire and you are intentionally wanting to see what resistance do I have going on inside of me. Because when you start affirming these things, you'll start to get the pushback from any limiting beliefs, any programming, whatever's going on inside of you that is um, contradicting your new desire, which I guarantee there's something there. Otherwise, your desire would just be available in your reality right now. Super important to understand, you guys. There's nothing holding it away. There's nothing blocking it. Nothing saying you don't get to have it. If what you want isn't showing up in your 3D reality yet, it's because you have a contradictory belief system. You have a limiting idea about yourself or about reality or about the thing itself. There's something going on inside of you that says, mm -mm, no, we don't get to have that. So you can affirm to sort of bring that up to the surface and, and become aware of of what is your programming. But once that is happening, I would go and focus on changing the programming. So, right, it's like, I don't really um, recommend if you've done learn about manifesting and uh, start to affirm to get the control of your mind, become more aware of your thoughts. That's also what affirming can be helpful for becoming aware of your thoughts. Um, getting the foundation set. And then once you are in the realm of going through your programming, changing the things that are blocking your manifestation from being here, that's really the work, you guys. The work is not bringing things about. No, creation is finished. It's all here already. Okay. Your work is within yourself, getting rid of I guess you can call them blocks. <laughs> I don't love that term, but getting rid of the concepts, the ideas, the belief system, the concept about yourself that is holding your manifestation out of view from you. That's, that's the work. Okay. So you have to first know what that is. What is it in my belief system, in my concept of myself that's holding it away? What is the idea? What is the concept? And then once you identify that concept, you, your job is to go about changing that. So everything is changeable. Your ideas about yourself are completely changeable. Uh, everything is changeable. Your belief system, your concepts about the world, your concepts about yourself, it's all malleable. It's all flexible. It's all changeable. And understanding this is first and foremost, super important for you. 
So the way I like to prove this to people is your beliefs are not universal truth. Just go into a room with like 10 other people and notice how your belief system is vastly different. It might be similar in some areas and then wildly different in other areas. Well, okay, let's look at that. How? How can one person believe something and another person believe something? At the core, it's a choice. Now, it's not always a choice you made consciously. You might have made it unconsciously to accept these things as true, right? That's the whole notion of your programming and how your programming was installed from age zero to seven. It's all going in. It's all going in. There's no filter. There's no, you know, screen. There's no, well, I won't say there's no deliberate choice, but there's very little, if any, deliberate choice there. So, some of it you didn't even choose. You don't even want it, you know, and the best news I have for you, you don't have to keep it. You don't have to keep it. When you identify something in your programming that you don't want, feel really good right now in this moment, not that you have it, but that you don't have to keep it, that you know whatever's in your programming, you can absolutely change it if it's not what you would prefer to experience, if it's not what you would prefer to have as a rule for your reality. Okay. So yeah, like Neville says in the quote, let's just refer back to it. You do not command things to appear by your words or loud affirmations. And I would add your repetitive affirmations. Such vain repetition is more often than not confirmation of the opposite, right? So this is why I don't recommend as you're progressing in this uh, journey in this transformation that you're affirming for your desires. No, you, at this stage, as you're progressing, as you get control of your mind, you, um, you know, become aware. This is a big part of the initial step. Become aware. Start to become aware. And again, you can use affirmations to do this of what is happening in your mind. That's an important step. If you don't know what's going on, you can change it. Then you lay the foundation, right, of who you are. You can use affirmations for that. And then further on in the journey, you want to work on the programming so that you don't have this constant negative reinforcement ideas, concepts, meanings that you're giving to your reality. That's all coming from your programming. And once you get rid of all of that, you work through that, you kind of take the garbage out that was kind of just lingering from your past. And this isn't a judgment. We all have it. So taking out the garbage from your belief system, your unprocessed emotions, your, uh, you know, kind of hurt feelings and everything from the past, you're taking all of that out. Once you do that, this is when your mind starts to become quiet and more like the power tool that it was meant to be so that you can simply choose your preferences, simply choose your new assumptions, direct your mind in that direction, and then go on with your day. There's not this vain repetition constantly needing to be affirming, 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 because if you're not, you're on this negative train. Okay. Again, I know I used to be there, but this is not the way that it's meant to be. And this is not the best solution, right? If you have to affirm, 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 because if not, you're on this negative train, there's something further to be looked at here because this negative train is um, unnecessary. It's unnecessary. It's just a product of things that are kind of backed up and unprocessed from the past and perhaps a belief system that you never chose for yourself in the first place. So looking at that and then once you get all of that kind of taken out, out of the way, your mind will become more peaceful, more powerful, more easily directed in the direction that you want it to go. Now, if you find this hard to believe, because maybe you have a lot of overthinking, a lot of negative thoughts, uh, I want you to know, again, 
that used to be me. So I'm speaking from experience of being this way and not being this way. So I understand what it's like to have all of that going on. And I also understand what it's like to not have all that going on. And trust me, this is the place that you want to be in. You want to be in this place where your mind is more calm, more quiet, and more easily directed in the direction of your desires, your goals, and you don't have this constant like pullback into the negative space, into the negative beliefs, into the negative emotions, into the negative thoughts, right? You want to be going easily, pointing yourself in the direction that you want to be going in. And, you know, just using your assumption, your consciousness to easily say whatever it is now that you want to experience, you you become conscious of being that before it's showing up in your 3D reality, right? You always have to go first. So we're not waiting for something to be in the 3D reality for us to be conscious and aware of being it. It doesn't work that way. That's how we tend to stay stuck in old patterns. All right, you guys. So this is my video, my recommendations for affirming. Again, it's not a blanket statement across the board. No, no more affirming. It's not really like that. It's like it is appropriate at certain stages and certain places in this journey. And, you know, just figure out, know where you are. That's step number one, know where you are in the journey and then figure out if that is really appropriate and beneficial and helpful for you at this stage. All right, you guys leave me a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.